Today we're going to be talking about the MeanJet MX-4 brought to you by Sneed Coating Solutions and how to adjust your print delay. So we've got everything connected and hooked up here uh, and we've got our code programmed in. We've got a four line message selected. Now we just want to print it. Uh, I have a template made up here, uh, just kind of a, a piece of the box uh, so I know what the size is. I've attached a piece of paper here so that I can do some tests. Uh, this will give me just an easy reading and then we'll do a quick sample. But for right now, we want to see where the delay is at. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up to where it's printing. The print is on. That lets you know don't remove the cartridges while printing. Go ahead and turn on the conveyor. All right, notice when it came out, it's pretty close to the edge here of the box, and we actually want to get a little more centered. We want to move it over here towards the middle. So, in order to do that, the first thing we always have to do is make sure to disengage our print. That's going to take a few seconds as it goes through and writes information to the chips on the cartridges. And then from there, we're just going to go into our settings and the very first tab that opens up here is our print settings and styles and you'll notice that we've got interval right here at the bottom. Currently it's set to 30. Well we know what that did for its replacement. We want to move it over so we're just going to increase it here a little bit more. Now you'll notice when I touch in there this also pops up. You can use the keypad here. We're just going to turn this up to 50. Actually, let's just go ahead and double. We'll make it 60. All right. Click on close. Now we want to make sure we save that. If we needed to adjust any of the other print heads, we'd go into our nozzle splice and adjust those there. However, we've got these all set up already and it's ready to go. So we've got our new interval in. Speed is already set. Click on save. The information is now updated. Click on print. and it's going to verify the cartridges make sure that the information is still correct you know, it tells us it's ready to print we'll go ahead and turn the conveyor on oh, and you can see that we moved it over and we've got a new starting position closer to the center of the box but not quite quite where we need it but i think with one more adjustment we'll be good to go so let's go ahead, turn our print off. Then we're going to go into settings, back to our interval, which we set at 60. We're going to go ahead and turn that up a little bit to 70. Turn our print on. This time we're going to use a blank box side, which should be the same size as the template that we were using. Our print is activated. We'll go ahead and turn the conveyor on. Very good. Right there at the center, Sneed Coating Solutions. Please feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. And thanks again.